Good evening, guys, and welcome back to my channel. Tonight, I'm doing a quick whole home declutter. So it's not a huge declutter where I'm getting rid of a ton of stuff, but something I like to do once in a while is just go room to room and just look around and see if there's anything that I can get rid of, anything that's been sitting there nagging me, and I've been looking at it knowing that we don't use it or like wondering why we have it or maybe it's a multiple of something. So today, I'm preparing for a night shift, and I just wanted to take you guys along with me and just do a quick every room of the house declutter. This is something I would encourage you to do if you yourself feel a little bit overwhelmed and you feel like you've got a lot of stuff around you and it's kind of starting to get on your nerves, is just go room to room and try not to make it too big of a deal, but just kind of look around and pick one or two things from each room that you know you're not using, you know is just taking up space, and get rid of it. So in today's video, I was actually able to declutter quite a few just kind of little things here and there that at the end of the day does add up to make quite a big difference. So if you guys are new to my channel, I would love if you would consider subscribing. And if you like this kind of content, I do have lots of other videos that center around cleaning, organizing, and decluttering. And you can also feel free to head over and follow me on Instagram if you like this kind of inspiration. And yeah, with that out of the way, you guys, let's get started in today's quick mini whole home declutter. All right, guys. So as you can see, I am drinking my coffee here and we're going to go through and do a quick pre-night shift whole house little bit of a declutter and see if there's anything that I can get rid of that is just kind of sitting around that does not need to be here. I find that sometimes when I go back a few times in a row like I do little declutters here and there but every time I go back I find more stuff that can be decluttered that I didn't think about before or I didn't really think I could part ways with but now coming back a second or a third time um, I have like a renewed view on things and it's easier to let go of things. So first of all, the stuff at the bottom of the stairs here is just a couple of bags of donations. Um, mostly that is stuff that I shared with you guys in my last declutter video. Also on the bottom of the stairs, I have a couple things that are going to the post office. I managed to sell some more perfumes today. I finally just went through my perfumes and did like a huge sale. I literally sold perfumes that are worth hundreds of dollars for $40 <laughs> just because I want them gone and sometimes when you're decluttering and you're trying to just get rid of stuff you have to let go of the fact that you paid money for things and you have to stop being attached to the dollar value that you actually paid for those things because you're not going to get that money back and the stuff is just going to sit here and bother you and you may as well just pass it on. So essentially what I want to do is just go room to room in my house, my entire house, every single room and ask myself if there's anything I can part ways with. You guys, I also pulled out my white sage pumpkin candle because I actually finally finished burning through the candle that I had on my counter before. It was like this nice like vanilla vanilla candle and I dug into the white sage pumpkin. I'm super excited to start burning this. Um, I don't want to light it just yet because it's not fall yet, but I just feel like it's fall already. I don't know why. It's like starting to get a little bit colder and it's starting to get dark out earlier and I'm just super, super excited to break into this white sage pumpkin candle. So yeah, really excited to start burning that. So as I said, just ignore the stuff at the bottom of the stairs. I'm going to be dealing with that today. That is going to be going out to the car, donations, post office, waiting for a return turn label from Aritzia and I believe somebody is purchasing this Miss Dior 2017 from me. I'm just waiting for them to put their payment through. It always feels really good when I am able to sell things and rehome things and look at that stuff. That was all stuff, you guys. Boxes of perfumes and everything in those bags. That was all sitting up in my bedroom and office. So it's just one more thing that I can you know, get out of the house. Okay, so this is our shoe closet. When you first come in through the front door, this is downstairs. My daughter's backpack is here, which is kind of annoying, um, but it's like where her volleyball is, her volleyball stuff. So I kind of have to organize that a little bit. Her wallet is down here. I don't know why her wallet is down here. She also has slippers here, so the slippers can go up to her room and the wallet can go up to her room because I'm tired of seeing them sitting down here. So I'm going to go ahead and put these away in her room and then I'm going to come back and we're going to take a look down here and see if there's any shoes or jackets or anything in this linen closet that can be decluttered and made a little bit more organized. Okay, so coming back to this closet, so I'm just gonna leave that backpack down there because my daughter tends to throw her backpack for school or her volleyball backpack or whatever in the closet when she gets home. And even though it's not school time yet, um, she still does play sports and she does like these volleyball camps and stuff like that. So. I'm not going to worry too much about that backpack being there. It's kind of one of those necessary evils of having children. You just kind of accumulate things. One thing that I think we can get rid of actually 
a well one thing for sure is this snuggle thing that I got it doesn't even really have much of a scent anymore it's kind of old and it doesn't really I haven't noticed that it's made a difference in the closet so since it's pretty much dried up and I haven't noticed a big difference I'm actually just going to get rid of this I think the shoes here is something I've been meaning to go through for a while um, I don't think that there's too much out of here that's going to be able to go some of it is my daughter some of it is mine um, so on the very top here and yes I keep whatever handbag I'm using at the moment I just keep it up here on this thing it's not ideal like ideally I would have an entryway table where my purse could go and it would look really pretty and it would be like further away from the dirty shoes but honestly you guys I've never had a handbag sit here and get dirty from being in here so I'm not too concerned about it I know some people are going to be like, I can't believe you put your bag there, but whatever. <laughs> I'm not too concerned about it. Okay, so we have a couple of umbrellas, and we do use umbrellas, so I'm leaving those. I have a small one and a large one. We've got some jackets here. Two of them are my daughter's. One of them is mine, and I'm not going to do anything with those. So maybe we can declutter one of my daughter's jackets at some point, but I'm going to let her do that. I'm not going to attempt to declutter her jackets today. When it comes to the shoes... Um, these ones down here I've been pretty much living in when I just run out to quickly do errands or run out to take out the garbage or something. Just a really easy slip-on pair of sandals. These are a pair of my daughter's boots for winter and those are hers. They still fit her so I'm not going to do anything about those. Those shoes down there are my daughter's and they still fit her. These ones are my old Nike Tangent sneakers and these ones are very very worn out. Um, they're very dirty as you can see. Like the insides are super dirt or dirty. The soles are super pushed down. Um, I've had these shoes for a long time. They're still wearable though, and I have been putting them on at home here just to do cardio in the house on my treadmill because rather than have to go out to the car and get my shoes from my gym bag and then have to remember to put them back, it's just kind of nice to have like a designated pair of shoes to work out on the treadmill here at home so I have been I have been still using these shoes on the second shelf we have a pair of kind of Ugg style Ugg style boots so these are the ones I told you guys like yes I live in Canada we have snowy disgusting weather sometimes I do have to go out and shovel I need something that is practical they're not the nicest looking boots that's for sure but they're something that I can put on when it's winter time and I do have to take out the trash or I do have to go shovel the sidewalk I need something like this so yeah not the nicest boots in the world they're kind of like an Ugg style like inspired version and they're fine you know they're an essential so I'm obviously going to be keeping them the next pair is a pair of Converse that belong to my daughter and this pair I think I can get rid of this is a pair of Skechers Go Walks and these have been my go-to shoe for I've had these for probably about three years, gotten some pretty good use out of them, but again, the sole is super worn down and I needed a pair of shoes that had better arch support that was a little bit more comfortable for work. So these were my work shoe. Hello cat. <laughs> so these were my work shoe and they're okay, but I don't really wear them anymore. I tend to wear my New Balance um, when I work now. I really like them. They're very comfortable. They've got good arch support. Um, they're good condition. They're brand new. So I honestly think I can declutter my Skechers Go Walks. I don't need two pairs of shoes for work, um, especially when these ones I was finding my feet were starting to get really sore by the end of my 12-hour shift, 13-hour shift. And then the last four pairs of shoes here on the top are all mine. Um, these ones are the Nike Air Max, Air 70, whatever they're called. I'm not sure what they're called, but I really like them. Sometimes I wear them for the gym. I could also wear them to work if I wanted, and they're great shoes. I just, to be honest, I haven't worn them a lot lately. I kind of forgot that I even had them, but they are great runners, and I will use them. And sometimes, sometimes these ones are still kind of uncomfortable for me at work. Like, they're good. I wouldn't suggest running out and getting them. I just kind of, like, needed a new pair of shoes because my feet were getting sore. Um, so I wouldn't recommend like run out and get them or anything, but if for some reason my feet start to get really sore in these ones, I can wear these ones just in case. And then this pair here is um, Adidas. These are like an Adidas tennis shoe that my boyfriend just bought me. And I really like them and I wear them for like casual quick walks outside and stuff. So we're going to hold on to those. And then on the top, I have a pair of knee high suede boots. Oops, knee high suede boots. These are from Guess. And I really like them. Um, they're just a very like basic 
basic comfortable shoe all right coming to the kitchen you guys the kitchen is really not bad i don't have a ton of clutter in my kitchen thank goodness my laptop pretty much always lives at the kitchen table i don't know why i just it's kind of a routine that i have i've literally become my father i get up i have coffee i have breakfast and i check certain things on the computer be it my you know my socials or something about youtube or sometimes i catch up on the news not the best thing to do first thing in the morning i know um but yeah, so my laptop pretty much lives on the kitchen table along with the cat. <laughs> One thing I was thinking about doing on the kitchen counter is I was contemplating getting rid of my Keurig and just starting to do only French press coffee for a couple of reasons. Number one, the Keurig K-cups are kind of expensive. Number two, they're not very good for the environment. Um, and number three, French press coffee just tastes so much better. Number four, this way I can get rid of one more appliance on the counter. The tea kettle is something that we use on a regular basis every single day. We have tea every single night without fail for the most part. Even my daughter uses it. And of course, I can use the tea kettle to make French press. I actually made myself some French press coffee today and it was wonderful. It was such good coffee. It's just, it's a little bit more work because then you have to go ahead and wash your French press um, instead of a convenient pod that you just put in the Keurig and then throw the pot away or recycle or whatever the pod. It's one thing that I don't have to do. You know, it would be nice just to be able to go with regular grounds and save a little bit of waste and also save a little bit of money. This is the um, coffee that I tried today when I did my French press. It was actually really, really good. I don't know why. I just kind of noticed this sitting there and I really like the, what do you call it? The packaging design because you can open it and reclose it again and it's got the grounds inside and oh my gosh, you guys, it smells so good and this coffee is actually pretty good i was pleasantly surprised it's the craft cafe barista medium roasted ground coffee really did not mind it it's good coffee i kind of was attracted to the teddy bears i'm not gonna lie <laughs> so right now it's just up here in the cupboard but yeah so that's one thing that i'm thinking about doing with the keurig it has also been giving me a little bit of grief lately it doesn't squirt down in a straight spout it like squirts all over the place and it can be a little bit annoying because then it gets coffee droplets on my tray all over the counter every time i make coffee i have to wipe the counter whereas when i make a french press it's very clean and very easy to clean up after and there's no spots all over the place but if i pulled it away and i took it out of the corner and all i had was my french press my tea kettle you know um i think i think it would look okay so that's what it looks like without the keurig it does look a little bit strange and of course i don't have to have it arranged like this i could have this kind of like that and then maybe in the corner you know back here i could keep like a canister with my coffee grounds or something but that's what it looks like essentially without the keurig it does look a little bit strange to me i would have to kind of arrange things differently it also would be um, a little bit more decluttered. It wouldn't look bad. It would be one less appliance. Um, the coffee would be better quality. It would save money and it would be more environmentally friendly to just do it this way. So that is something I'm strongly considering is taking my Keurig to work and donating it and just continuing on with only French press coffee. Let me know you guys, if you are coffee people, what is your favorite type of coffee to make and why? Do you like a machine like an espresso or a Tassimo? Does anybody even use Tassimo? Old fashioned drip coffee. So what is your favorite way of making coffee? Let's take a look inside the cutlery drawer and see if there's anything in here that we can declutter. I know there is. And in fact, this was a inspiration for this video. Um, by the way, mind the fact that I actually have to clean this thing out. It's been a while since I've cleaned up my utensil holder but there are a couple things in here that i think can go one thing is my potato peeler is actually broken this thing keeps on coming off and this does not work very well anymore so i'm actually going to um, get rid of this potato peeler i don't understand the obsession with small spoons but for some reason my daughter likes using baby spoons when she eats certain food and it drives me crazy because we do not have babies in this house and we do not need toddler spoons like these are designed for babies who are just learning how to eat and they say mickey mouse and they're just unsightly and whatever we do not need baby spoons in the house somehow they were purchased and they were put here and we just don't need them we can use regular spoons the other thing is i don't know why but for some reason we end up with the odd like plastic spoon from the drive throughs but we certainly don't need to keep them and accumulate them it's annoying does anybody else find that you end up 
hoarding drive through cutlery like what the heck i don't know why but for some reason drive through cutlery drive through ketchup packets not that we go through the drive through a lot but like we don't need to keep all the stuff they give us in the drive through so those items are going to be decluttered from the kitchen drawer okay so coming over to this other drawer in the kitchen this drawer is where i keep my um dish towels and dish cloths so for some reason this is just how i've ended up having it organized is dish towels and dish cloths and then also airwick refills and stuff always end up in this drawer so i switched over from airwick to the febreze plugs and yeah i just really like the way the febreze ones smell um yeah they smell really good this one here is my favorite this is the serene vanilla sunrise it smells so good and they last a little bit longer than the vanilla airwick so i think i'm going to donate my my airwick plugs yeah i just don't need that much stuff in this drawer one or the other so since we switched to the febreze i'm going to pass along the airwick plugins okay you guys so this is what it looks like without the keurig it would definitely take some getting used to it looks very very bare but the reason that i am a part of my gut is like telling me to put it back the only reason is because i'm so used to seeing something sitting there in the corner but logically financially um and just like coffee taste wise it doesn't make sense to have a French press and a Keurig. It's just like not necessary. Appliance wise, there's really not much I can get rid of. We have our juicer, we have a Nutribullet, and we have an electric mixer. And all the stuff that you see up here is for the juicer. So yeah, everything that's here gets used. Juicer, Nutribullet, electric mixer, um, and then like cheese grater randomly is in there. So nothing in here I can really get rid of and I don't have any other appliances. And there's no appliances or anything like lingering about in here. Like this is completely empty. Um, the toaster, the toaster is in here along with the pots and pans and like mixing bowls and stuff, which it's not very well organized. And I also have to give it a good clean, but yeah, that's where the pots and pans and mixing bowls and stuff are. And the toaster, that's one thing I could leave the toaster on the counter because I use the toaster every single morning and I've just been in the habit of putting the toaster away after I've finished using it because I hated how it looked sitting out like as an eyesore, just one more thing on the counter. So that's one thing I could do. I could take the toaster and I could give it a clean. Obviously it looks like it needs a clean, but I could leave the toaster out because that is something that I do use every single day. All right, so this is what I did in this corner for now. I think it looks nice. This could probably come out even a little bit more. Yeah, so that is the little toast and coffee nook. Doesn't look bad, right? And I think I would get used to not having the Keurig. I would have to get used to it. So, so the only thing I was thinking I could have like a little canister maybe on here. Um, the French press could be just kept off to the side even. And then I could have a little canister here that actually holds coffee grounds. I'm super excited to actually start making French press every day because I used to make French press all the time and I loved it. And the coffee is just so much better. And I think that this looks really nice. And then I don't have to worry about always putting the um, toaster away after I'm done using it. So I can actually take and give the cupboard a good clean because look at all the breadcrumbs. All right, so our donation pile is getting larger, you guys. All the stuff today that I'm clearing out of the house and it feels really, really good. Making our way upstairs. Let's see if there's anything up here. I know that there probably is. Let's see if there's anything up here we can get rid of. So that box sitting on my dresser, you guys, you know how I told you after I did my closet clear out that I wanted to find a classy, nice white dress. So I ordered a couple things from Revolve and I'm super excited because I'm hoping to find my ideal kind of one size fits all, goes with everything, matches all my handbags, matches all my shoes, good quality, all that stuff. I'm hoping that it's in that box. I don't think I'm gonna have time to try them on today. Um, if you guys want to see a Revolve haul, let me know. It's basically just white dresses, and I think there's a pair of a Goldie jeans in there as well that I kind of wanted to try. So let me know if you guys are interested in seeing a Revolve haul, and I can definitely do that for you. Basically, the, the way that I like to shop is I like to order four or five pieces, try them on in the comfort of my own home, and return the three or four pieces that do not work. Um, just because I live so far away from shopping centers, I it's not like I can just head on downtown and go to the mall and try a bunch of stuff on. I don't live anywhere near a Zara. I don't live near a Holt Renfrew or a Macy's or a Nordstrom or a Neiman Marcus or anything like that. I am really far away from like good shopping center, but it is what it is. Like there, there would be no other way for me to do my shopping otherwise. So I'm actually really grateful that 
these kind of options exist. And also I will say Revolve has extremely fast shipping. Really excited to try that stuff on, but I will have to do that on another day because I am working a night shift tonight. Okay, so looking at my dresser table, I actually think that these AirPods are my boyfriend's. I think mine are in my purse and I think he forgot his here. So maybe I'll actually plug them in for him. There's really nothing about my nightstand or my night table that I can get rid of. Um, I use lotion usually every night, lip balm every single night, and then my boyfriend's eye drops are here as well. So we'll hold on to those. I did just get a few new books, you guys. That's my keepsake box. Ignore that box. Um, I did just get a few new books, you guys, and I already have read through one of them and I'm super excited to continue reading. And then there's a couple books there that I've had for quite a long time. I just didn't have them out. But reading is something I've been wanting to put more time and effort into because so many of the benefits that I've experienced in my life and so much personal growth that I've experienced has come from books. Um, one of those books in particular was The Life-Changing Magic of Tidying Up by Marie Kondo. This was actually one of the best books I ever read. Um, highly, highly recommend it. This was what spawned my whole journey of minimalism like seven years ago, you guys. So I highly recommend, highly recommend this book. It's such a good read and it's a fairly easy read and I just wanted to read it again. And if you guys want, I can actually take you through and show you through some of these books that I have, but I have more coming. So maybe stay tuned. I will do a book haul in the future and I'll share with you guys like the books that I have already read that were truly life-changing to me and like what they were about, what my favorites were, and then some of the new ones that I got and what I think about them. Coming to this bookshelf in my room, I'm trying to think if there's anything here that I'm really not getting much use out of or don't need. Obviously, most of this is just decor, so none of it is really something I'm quote unquote using. I do have a couple travel size perfumes here and I don't think there's any travel sizes in there that I wanna get rid of. Down here in this shoe box is where I keep um, dust bags and receipts for handbags and shoes that I have. But one thing that has been kind of striking me as being a little bit excessive and probably not necessary is my coffee table books that I have in the corner here. I have my Vogue on Coco Chanel, I have a Paris book, I have a Dior book, and I have a Louis Vuitton book. This is an Amazon book, Amazon Home Sense Home Sense. I feel like I don't need both of these books. I feel like one or the other, even though this is really pretty, but I feel like one or the other is adequate. I don't think I need that many. So I think I might actually pass on my Louis Vuitton book, even though it's super pretty. I got it from HomeSense. Um, really cute. It is really nice. I'm trying to think like the new place we moved to, I'm trying to think if we have an entryway book, an entryway table or something, it might be nice to have like a coffee table book sitting on the entryway table. I don't know. I'm kind of undecided about what to do with that book. This stuff here in the corner is actually some stuff from the last declutter I did, the last closet declutter, um, a couple body suits and stuff that I'm selling. And I actually already have a buyer for them. That stuff there is just like some empties. I'm gonna do an empties video for you guys. That stuff up there is um, stuff from my travel bag. I have to get a new overnight bag because my daughter needed one, so I kind of gave her mine. So now I have nothing to put all my travel size stuff in and like my travel toiletry bags and stuff like that. Um, so I have to get a new travel overnight bag. If you guys have an overnight bag that you really like, a brand or something, let me know. Um, and then beside that, I have a container that has some stuff in there that I've posted on my Poshmark, some clothing items that I'm just waiting to sell. And then beside that, I have a huge Louis Vuitton bag that my boyfriend bought me years ago. And it's a beautiful bag, but I do not use it very often anymore at all. And I'm not sure what to do with it. I don't know if I should sell it, if I should keep it. And then I also have a whole bunch of shoe boxes there, which again have dust bags and receipts and stuff like that. In it. And then down here we have my cat, but we also have my computer stuff, my filming stuff. We've got ink, we've got important documents, we've got my single piece of decor that's sitting out here waiting to come out for fall time. We have a tripod, we've got candles, um, that's about it. And then this is all my nail stuff. Um, I did declutter a few nail polishes today as well. I took all of my normal polishes that aren't gel. I took all the normal polishes and I'm going to donate them because I don't use them anymore. I do my own nails. But yeah, so really there's nothing else in the closet or in the office area that really needs to be decluttered. I was thinking I could let go of one of my candles because I do have a couple peppermint sugar cookie candles. And I was thinking I probably don't need two peppermint sugar cookie. I have a perfect Christmas marshmallow fireside, vanilla pumpkin, 
Mary cookie. And then I have two peppermint sugar cookie candles. Does this one have a label on it? I think it does. Let's see. I think, yeah, they're exactly, they're exactly the same candle. Do I need two peppermint sugar cookie candles? The thing is, this is actually one of my favorite scents in the world when it comes to a candle. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed. Yeah, I love it so much. Honestly, I could just burn a peppermint sugar cookie and get rid of marshmallow fireside. Like that is how much I love that scent as well as Mary Cookie. Oh, Mary Cookie is so, Mary Cookie is so good. And the Perfect Christmas is really nice too. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I'm kind of over marshmallow fireside. I feel like I could almost donate it, but I think, I think this one's actually partially burned. Yeah, it's already, it's already partially burned. I may as well just burn it and use it up. So there's no sense, no sense in decluttering a partially burned candle. Nobody wants a partially burned candle. So yeah, that's my, that's my little Bath and Body Works stash. <laughs> I don't often stash things, but unfortunately I do tend to love my Bath and Body Works three-way candles. <laughs> when it comes to the linen closet, I don't really think that there's anything in the linen closet that I can declutter because I just went through and did a whole linen closet declutter, organize, and clean out. Um, and yeah, everything that's in here, like this is um, backups of body washes and lotions and face washes and sunscreens that will get used. This is some skincare products. Um, and I already kind of went through one thing that I think was a bit of a fail that I should not have purchased that I think I will declutter actually is actually both my pairs of these, um, microfiber wrist towels. I cannot get myself to get into the habit of using them on a regular basis. And I don't find that they actually stop the water from getting all over the sink. So I think these were kind of a pointless purchase. Like they seemed like a really good idea. And so many people say that they're amazing, but I don't use them. I can't get myself in the habit of remembering to use them. And it's just like something, it's one more thing in my, st one more step in my routine that I don't want to have to maintain and remember and have to wash them and all that stuff. So yeah. And I have used them only once since I purchased them like two weeks ago. So yeah, they ended up being kind of not right for me. Maybe somebody else will like them. So I'm going to actually, um, pass along this one and also my other pair. This drawer is kind of a mess. I really need to organize it. What is this? Do I use this? I really need that headband. I wear headbands to work because that way I don't have to actually do my hair, <laughs> but this is the one I've been using. It needs to be clean. It needs to be washed. Um, and I have two others. This is kind of like, they're not the best quality. Like this one's good for cardio though. I do like, I do like a headband for cardio. I have a black one. I never use this black one. I'm definitely going to declutter the black one. For the most part, my hair drawer is like not too terribly messy, but yeah, this stuff, this stuff can go. Black headband that I never use and two sets of the wrist towel. Okay, you guys, so I kind of want to declutter the shower area as well a little bit. This is the state of affairs in the shower slash tub. That is my spa pillow, which really needs to go in the wash. It's kind of discolored because I've been using it a ton lately and I haven't washed it in a while. So ignore it if it looks kind of dirty. This is just like realistic shower stuff. So when it comes to shampoo and conditioner, I told you guys that I've been using the Mark Anthony Coconut and Shea Nourishing Shampoo and Conditioner. It's very hydrating and I really, really like it. But the one that I keep going back to over and over and over that I've been really liking, even through my hair loss when I had like COVID hair loss, was the Lucita Jamaican Black Castor Oil Conditioner and the Marula Oil Shampoo. I really like both of them and you can get them for super cheap at like Winner's Home Sense. So I'd like to declutter these two, but I also really like them. And I feel like that would be wasteful because shampoo and conditioner is something that you're going to use. So it's fine to have more than one, I think, but going forward in the future, I just want to have one shampoo and conditioner, not a whole bunch. Um, something I was thinking I might do is actually take the shampoo and conditioner and just dump them into these bottles so that I can get rid of at least the two bottles that are sitting here, but I don't really want to mix shampoos and conditioners. The ones beside that are my daughter's. She really likes the Monday Smooth. So none of that can really be decluttered at the moment. I'm just gonna use up the Mark Anthony and then I'm just not gonna buy it again. It is nice, but I think I'm just gonna stick to my Jamaican Black Caster and my Marula. Sorry, this bottle's dirty. Like I said, realistic. <laughs> Um, this stuff up here have my razor loofah, which we do use. My daughter uses this, um, 
scalp massager when she does her hair so that's fine we will keep that um and then we've got my daughter's body wash my body wash slash what my boyfriend uses when he showers here and then the neutrogena clean and clear this is just normal body wash and i don't love it i it's not my favorite i actually kind of dislike it because it smells really strong and i don't feel like it gets me squeaky clean i only use body wash in like the quote unquote folds of the body or like the places where you would naturally get bacteria. So I don't use it on like my arms, my legs. I just don't feel it's necessary, but yeah, it's taking forever to go through this as a result. Cause I don't use like a ton of body wash all the time. Um, but once I'm through that, I'm not going to buy it again. Um, it's just kind of, it's not my favorite. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not like married to a body wash. I don't have a favorite body wash. And then up there, my daughter has a brush and I'm not sure why the brush is in there. Do we need this brush in here? Like, what the heck? Why is this in here? I don't think we need this in here. I don't know why this is in here. <laughs> Macadamia deep repair mask, which I do use sometimes, but not very often. I'm actually going to put it down here. So I remember to use it because I never think to use it when it's up there. And then we also have this scalp massager, this silicone scalp massager. And I was thinking, I was thinking I could probably get rid of this. Honestly, I do not I do not really use it. Again, I think it was kind of one of those gimmicky things that I saw on Instagram or something and was like, yeah, I need this in my life. But honestly, my fingertips and my fingernails do just a fine job of massaging my scalp. So I think I might pass on this um, scalp massager. It's super pretty, right? Actually, I might get rid of the pink one and keep this one just because this one is more aesthetic, aesthetically pleasing. So why don't we do that? We will get rid of the pink one because it's kind of an eyesore. And this one actually feels nicer on the scalp anyways. And we'll hold on to, we'll hold on to that one. So I was able to get rid of the brush and one scalp massager. Kind of gross. This is like full of hair. I don't know why it's there. I have no idea why my daughter brought that in, into the tub with her, but um, yeah, we do not need it in our shower. <laughs> we do keep a wide tooth comb in the shower just because that way you can brush through your hair when you have um, conditioner in your hair to like evenly distribute it. So I don't mind having a comb. There we go. That's a little bit better. That looks nicer. So there's our two decluttered items from the shower area. So you guys, I decided I'm just going to actually um, declutter this Louis Vuitton book because I went back into the office and I did not like the way that it looked in the office area. It's just kind of like an off weird color. It's like a yellowy pinky beige. It doesn't really go with anything in my house. And yeah, here's the pink, the pink scalp massager that I'm going to be decluttering. Closet wise, you guys, there's nothing at the moment that I want to declutter in the closet. Um, I may still go through and do a handbag video and really get real with myself about which handbags I love the most, use the most, and are there any I can part ways with. So stay tuned for that, but I feel like that has to be a video all on its own because I have too many handbags to go through. Not that I have like an excessive amount, but there's just too many to go through in just like today's video. One perfume, um, when I was going through and selling perfumes earlier today, I pulled out of the declutter bin, I pulled out my Chance Eau Tendre, Chanel Chance Eau Tendre, because I don't have a fresh shampoo-y fragrance in my collection. The closest thing I have to a fresh shampoo-y fragrance Sorry, I have cat hair on my face and it's driving me crazy. The closest thing I have to a fresh shampoo-y fragrance in my collection is Gabrielle Essence. And that is not super, super fresh shampoo-y. It's a little bit more floral. There's some depth to it. There's a muskiness to it. There's a bit of a fruitiness. Um, it's it's not super shampoo-y fresh. It is like floral and summertime and whatever, but it's not like shampoo-y, like I just got out of the shower and I'm super clean. Whereas the Chanel Chanso Tendre very much is that kind of perfume, very just like clean, fresh, whatever. So I was going to sell it today. And then after I kind of smelled it and I looked at my collection, I was like, I don't really have a fresh shampoo clean scent. So I dug it out. Honestly, you guys, I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to keep it, but I just decided I would put it here for now and see how, see how things go. So 
yeah, anyway, there's nothing nothing really for me to declutter from the closet section because I just went through and did a huge clothing declutter. If you guys missed that video, do check it out. I will try to remember to link it down below. But yeah, there's, there's really nothing in the closet department, the clothing or shoes that I feel the urge to let go of today. My closet is pretty called down. I may have to do a declutter at some point in the future, but I'm pretty happy with everything right now at the moment. So yeah, I was able to get rid of one thing in my bedroom, which was the Louis Vuitton book that was there, but really there's not a whole heck of a lot else in the bedroom that, that needs to be decluttered. I was looking at my watches and I was looking at my jewelry and wondering if there's anything jewelry wise that I could part ways with because I don't wear all the jewelry that I have for the most part. I mean, I do wear, I do wear quite a lot of it. I do wear this little pearl one, even though it's pretty new to me. I have worn it. I really like my really basic, like layering pieces from Ana Luisa, like this piece here. I really like that. This is a Van Cleef and Arpels dupe that I got on Amazon. And it's really pretty, obviously, and I, I do like that one. I do wear that one and enjoy that one. And I also really like this one. It's very basic, um, not really a whole lot going on. Again, just a really good layering piece. This is one that I don't reach for a lot anymore, this little gold flower one. I wonder if I could pass it along. It is pretty nice. It's very pretty. I don't wear that one a whole heck of a lot anymore these days. I don't really reach for it. The last few times I've gone on vacation, um... I, I haven't reached for it, but it is so pretty. I don't know. I'm kind of kind of on the fence about that one. I don't want to be hasty with it. And then my pearl ones, I don't wear them very often either. Tiffany's I wear. Watches, for the most part, I wear all of them. The only one I don't wear much anymore is my Michael Kors. I have had this watch forever, you guys. It's rose gold. It's really pretty. Um, it it kind of needs to be cleaned. It also needs a new battery. And I was thinking I could let go of this watch but I love this watch. I used to wear it all the time and it is my only rose gold piece. So I think I'm going to hold on to that one. One other thing I thought of that I can declutter, and this is totally random, is my cat's scratching bed thing. She has two of them and she prefers the other one. Um, I don't know why she kind of got sick of this one, but all of a sudden she just doesn't use it anymore. She doesn't scratch her claws on it. She doesn't like sit on it anymore. So I'm going to donate this one because we have two and we don't need two cat scratching posts. Honestly, she's a pretty good cat. She doesn't really scratch the furniture, but yeah, this I can declutter as well. And thankfully it's made of cardboard, so I can just recycle it. So you guys, that is pretty much it. I have to go get ready for my night shift now. So this was just a really quick kind of go through the whole home and do a little mini declutter with me. Nothing too crazy, but I did want to do this. I've been meaning to do it for a while and I wanted to take you guys with me. And this here at the bottom of the stairs, you guys, is all the stuff I was able to get out of my house today. The next step is going to be to take it all out to the car, take the donations where the donations need to go, take the recycling where the recycling needs to go. But overall, I feel pretty happy about being able to, yeah, get the stuff out of the house. It's really crazy because when you look around your home, you don't really notice all the stuff that you have. You don't really think about it, but it's, once you declutter it, it makes a huge difference. And if you actually put it all in a pile, it's hard to believe that you actually had all this stuff in the rest of your house. Like it was all sitting there taking up room somewhere else. And once this is gone and out of the house, you guys, it is going to feel so good. All right, guys. So I just hauled everything out to the car to be dropped off for donations as well as the post office. The only thing I still have left here is my bag that has to go back to Aritzia, just waiting on a return label for that. And also the perfume that I sold. I'm just waiting for payment, but then I can get that perfume packed up and sent away. But yeah, what a breath of fresh air, you guys. What a relief not to have a whole bunch of stuff sitting at the bottom of the stairs anymore. That looks so much nicer. And what a weight off my shoulders. <laughs> So that was it for today's video, you guys. I hope that you enjoyed kind of hanging out with me or maybe that you listened while you did your own decluttering at home. Also, I'm looking forward to hearing your suggestions and thoughts down below about what you think about the Keurig situation and stuff like that. And hopefully this video wasn't too boring for you. It is just a basic, like normal life and normal home that I'm sharing with you. So nothing too fancy or too crazy, but hopefully it inspired you to do a little bit of decluttering of your own. Thank you guys so much for spending the day with me today and I'll see you guys all very soon in my next one. Bye for now.